Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeam here at the next round of the Ubers Open. Let's just jump right into it. Now my opponent is using uh, Webb's offense, it looks like it, and I brought the right trick room weakness policy into Krosma. Uh, this game it looks like. Um have fun. I am very weak to that. Uh, I'm not gonna doubt though, I gotta be careful. Now as far as leading off versus Smirgo goes. Hmm. I'm trying to think what's best case. I'm gonna go Arceus because it actually gives me at least the um, the judgment while he can spore me. Uh, I do have a decent defogger as well, which is you know obviously Giratina. Giratina defogs pretty easily versus him too. So I'm assuming you go for glare, spore, nuzzle, etc. Yep. Good stuff. Let's go for Judgment and Breakthrough. Thank you. Okay, so we get rid of Smeargle all, all early. I like that a lot. Uh, assuming maybe Groudon might want to come out. Maybe Aerodactyl as well. Aerodactyl's probably a rocker, so Groudon's probably SD. Looking at his team. Gotta be careful about Arceus, of course, but I can defog. So that means that Webs isn't the biggest of deals. I feel like I go into Krosma here. Uh, if he fire blasts immediately, great play. But I think you sludge wave. Well, then again, if I judgment you, hold on, let me think about this. If I judgment you for damage, then I'm pretty sure Marshadow knocks you out. Let me judgment you for damage, yeah, because I can't risk him nasty plotting and then going for fire blast. Uh, so thankfully, do not get paralyzed there, which is really cool. Uh, he's gonna throw off a sludge wave. For sure. That'll definitely knock me out. Let me just ignore uh, spectators. Marshadow eats and I can keep Arceus around. And Arceus is good for his own Marshadow, so I'm actually gonna go Marshadow here. I don't think you could go anyway. I think you go for Sludge Wave. Yep, Marshadow eats. Take that boy up with a sneak now. So I get to pick up Noggin Adele. Uh, this also does some chip damage to Groudon, I suppose. Depending on the Groudon set, of course. Groudon is a problem. I gotta be careful. Uh, Aerodactyl might come out too. And Aerodactyl is definitely, the, like I said, Aerodactyl is definitely a rocker. Webs aren't bad. Webs are not bad, but, and I'm getting really lucky that I didn't get paralyzed multiple times. But Groudon's still an issue. Like, no matter what, Groudon's an issue, I feel. And obviously, the uh, the Arceus is an issue, too, depending on the set. I'm thinking it's E-Killer. Aerodactyl comes out. I feel like I always go Kyogre here. Zero's gonna Mega Evolve and probably get up Rocks, maybe Aerolace, Earthquakes. Terra's open the ground. We liquidate you, uh, and then I toxic the Groudon, I believe. Yeah, I toxic you. Toxic Groudon. I have a Giratina, so I don't know if he presses blades. My RP, you might eruption. Please land. I would like if toxic lands. That would be great. Not having to deal with Groudon would be awesome. I'm okay with that too. Especially because I get in Giratina now and get to Defog. So getting rid of not only rocks, but the... Uh... Yeah, that's cool too. That's fine too. Like I said, getting rid of not only rocks, but also the, um, the mischance of Draco. And unfortunately a crit, which I did not want. I definitely did not want a crit. Sorry about that, bro. I wanted to be able to go Marshadow after in Revenge Kill. Your Marshadow is going to come out. Go for Thunder Wave. 
I get my grout on now. Uh, if you Z move me, that's fine. I think I pressed his blades 100%. Um, this might be Sash. It's a little bit bad. All right, Rock Tomb, land. I need you to land, that way I can shadow sneak that thing. Thank you. Okay, so we break the potential Sash, which is awesome. He's gonna sneak here. I get in my own Marsh Shadow, I sneak back. And then I think I get into Necrozma now on potentially Shadow Claw. And then I go for, basically my Necrozma lives every hit. If he doubles, great play. But I don't think you, I have my Arceus Fairy at full, so I don't think you double. I always go Necrozma here. And I always Sunsteel Strike. Because I'm weakness policy, so. Maybe Photon Geyser is the better play. Does Photon Geyser knock it out? Necrozma. Thinking about, not, not this, but I'm thinking about Marshadow. I still strike the 76 man. We're good. We're good. Kind of wish I hurt the first Oblivion Wing, but I guess going. Oblivion Wing. I pressed his blades, but I guess going for that was better. Anyway. Goes for Shadow Claw. Crits me, but I do get my weakness uh, policy, which is nice. And we Sun Steel Strike. Hopefully, don't get double crit as we get double crit. Really? No! <laughs> We unfortunately get double crit there. Um, okay, let me get rid of Chopper Bear. This is fine. <laughs> That's crazy. If we didn't get double crit, I think we won. Um, bar Paras, of course. Smart man. trying to risk the speed tie, uh, which I don't want to risk just yet. I don't want it to come down to a speed tie, I really don't. I actually had to get, I actually got double crit there, that's crazy. So I'm still sure I knocked it out and then uh, as long as I didn't get para, we were good, but ah! Do I risk the speed tie? I feel like I lose if I risk the speed tie. What if he's adamant? Let me calc the damage on Groudon. He should never be adamant, but let me calc the damage on Groudon. Where's my Groudon? Like worst case scenario, it comes down to that speed tie, but I can't go hard, Marshadow. I think I Toxic here. Do I Toxic? I think I, no, no, I Judgment. I definitely Judgment. And then Recover. Ideally, it goes for Shadow Claw immediately. Yeah, definitely Judgment. But because he's running Sticky Web, he might have Return over, um, over Earthquake as a last move. Let me toxic actually. Yeah, I'll toxic. Ideally, I break through and land. Please, buddy. Thank you. So now we recover. Because we take every hit. There's no way it's SD refresh with Life Orb. I recover for sure. Cause it was Z move on Naga Nadell, so I'm pretty sure that was just Sash Marshadow. Or like a plate maybe. And Marshadow died. Both of our Marshadows died a special thief. So I really need you to break through, buddy. Now, right here, I think I'm gonna go off paralysis because 
I think paralysis is one in four. Yeah, I'm going with paralysis. If you attack, if you shadow claw, then great, I die. But he goes for e speed, so now I have multiple chances to win. I get the 50/50 of uh, shadow sneak, and then I get the paralysis as well. I'm, obviously, I could lose both, but ideally, we win right here. Did we get crit? We didn't. Good game. Hey, all right, so great. That game could have gone a lot worse, but we win game one. Challenge for game two when ready. We win game one. Awesome. Almost, almost had some bad times there because of the uh, the double crit. I still think I make the right play in the end. Assuming paralysis is one and four, and it's not. I'm pretty sure paralysis got nerfed. But it doesn't feel that way, especially like the last few days. It does not feel that way at all. It really does not feel that way. Anyway, next team's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um, double default, which is really nice. Plus life or marsh shadow. Should be a fun one. Uh, just waiting for him to challenge, but I'm glad we ended up breaking through that. I feel like I made the right play at the end though. Because um, not only does he have to win the extreme speed versus shadow claw one, but he has to win the tie with marsh shadow. And uh, he has to full para me to death. So I think I made the play at the end that gave me the most odds. Assuming I'm right about I'm just gonna go on Bulbapedia. I'm pretty sure it's one in four, but it just doesn't feel like one in four anymore. Bulbapedia paralysis. Gen seven. Theta paralysis fifty percent, that's about seventy five. Well I know I know it's the It's been Hello. It's just 25%. They, they never change 25%, right? I love the way they uh, they describe it on Bulbapedia. In general, a paralyzed Pokemon runs a 25% risk of losing their turn due to full paralysis. Okay, so they didn't change the paralysis thing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. They didn't change the... It's still 1 in 4. Okay. Yeah, it's just the speed they changed. Duh. All right, let's go. Game two. Have fun, dude. I have an Ultra Necrozma here, which is uh, it's okay. He has a really cool team. Very much like my Arceus Water in this. Just ignore spectators. Sorry, dude. I'm playing for a game real quick. Helps with my depression, anxiety, and self-harm. Keep them it down, dude. I'm, well, I'm glad to see the help, but... Uh, I'm glad I can help, though. Bro. But for real, you should... I'm gonna keep doing what I do, though. So, so yeah. Life gets better. Things are only temporary. Yeah, that's that's... Oh man, now I'm not even focused on this game anymore. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry about the wait, dude. Um, absolutely love Arceus Water as a lead as he leads Zygarde. Great. Uh, I can easily go for Willow as Pierre. I feel like you don't let me. I feel like you don't let me go for the uh, the what's it called, the Ice Beam on you, and you go Klefki exactly. So I don't have a Dark type, unfortunately. So this thing is a pain. However, we do have Groudon, and I do like the idea of getting up rocks. Um, I'm going to check that in a bit, because that's going to get me into that a lot. Uh, he's going to paralyze me now. I absolutely love my Necrozma versus this guy, but... My Arceus Water still. He Dragon Tails me into, uh, into my Ho-Oh. I think we'll go right back out on Arceus Water though, because I can just recover and take him on. I wish I had a. Pr I can Bandit Brave Bird here, but it'll activate his father form, which I don't want. And I think that hole is going to be really crucial for me winning anyway. Actually, no. Bandit Brave Bird is the play. Like, this will do a lot. And if he if he wants to switch, this punishes him too. Like if he goes Groudon, for example, or Fearing Toxic, or 
anything like that. Like Banded Braver punishes him. I'll use this to break early for Salamence in the end game because I think Salamence can win with Zygarde being weakened and Clefki gone, so it can't paralyze me. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll, that's that's more personal. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Yeah, that's 80. That's some damage, bro. That is some damage. So Brave Bird again. That did some big damage. Yeah, and I knew Ho would love the next one. Ideally, this is still in KO range. No, but it's in uh, Shadow Sneak range, which is really important. So getting rid of Zygarde so early uh, is awesome for my Salamence. It's really good for Salamence. Um, so great that's gone. I can drag this up maybe on Groudon. I gotta be careful again about Klefki, about letting it paralyze something. Which I don't want him to do. I'm debating close combating here too, but I need to keep my, my Marsh out alive too because it kills Gengar, which I'm very weak to. He might double out into Kyogre. Let me go to Cosmo. I don't mind it getting paralyzed, I feel. Yep. And this is good because he'll go for most likely either Earthquake or a Water Move here, uh, both of which Necrozma takes. And I can uh, Ultra Burst, get the hit off on him, weaken Kyogre for my Marshadow. Yep, Origin Pulse I eat. Don't care if you switch out into your Klefki, as the important part is not getting Thunder Waved on my Salamence. So do not mind Klefki coming out at all. Again, the important part is not getting Thunder Wave on Salamence. So Breakthrough, thank you, and Land. Great, awesome, awesome. Looking good. Looking really good, actually. Yeah, looking really good. Um, that, I got rid of the two things that I need for Salamence to win. Gengar comes out. I'm trapped. I'm not, I mean, I'm not trapped yet, but I'm not, there's no point in me switching just yet. Shadow Ball knocks me out. Yes. Getting Groudon, click press his blade. At that point, Kyogre is in range. Uh, you're definitely in range too. I think this is a situation where I want to be in because uh, getting rid of Gengar as well frees up my Arceus. Okay, he doesn't switch in very well to this from what I see. I'm assuming it might be Arceus. Actually, it might be Arceus Ground. No, it's not Arceus Ground. He has Zygarde. Fairy? No, you have Klefki. Water? Maybe water. Which I can Toxic then for. That Kyogre took absolutely nothing, by the way, so I'm pretty sure I'll speed it and knock it out. I mean, it's probably offensive, but I know for a fact it's gonna die to press his blades. RC is flying. Interesting. So we're going to Stone Edge, max attack Stone Edge. Go ahead and give me that Arceus. I'm okay with that. Yeah, things are looking good for my Salamence. Yep, rocks pick you off. I get a Mars Shadow here. I click Spectral 3. If I get rid of Arceus flying, so we don't have to worry about that. I probably could have set up on that, to be honest, but... Yeah, I probably should have set up on that, but I think I need more damage on Groudon anyway to win. I feel. This is like 100% rocks, right? I don't think it's a throw if I go for close combat here to weaken you. Because I feel like I Dragon Dance up with uh, me with my Salamence and win. And uh, if you are like Spadef, close combat might do enough to 2 KO you. If he doubles out to Gengar expecting me to go Salamence, then I can uh, safely go for Shadow Sneak and knock that thing out. So I think I'm positioning myself for the Salamence sweep, which is what I'm trying to do. That is defensive as hell. I'll keep you alive just for your Spectral Thief, or just for your Shadow Snake, excuse me. No, actually. Because Double Edge will still knock out Gengar and Kyogre even if I'm burned, I'm pretty sure, so. Go for another close combat just to weaken you. As he goes, press his blades. I spam Wisp, uh, I spam Earth Power, I believe. Actually, I go for Wisp. Just 
Because I want him to knock me out. Gets in Kyogre. Did I ruin my endgame? I don't think I ruined my endgame. Because Mens gets to come in and double edge. I DD up on I hope I didn't ruin my endgame. I guess if he's IC win or HP ice, I might have ruined my endgame. Ah, I ruined my endgame. No, good game, dude. Ah, why was he IC win? I actually ruined the endgame. I didn't think it would be IC win. I thought that uh, what I could have done was... Maybe I should have just sacked Arceus initially and then came in and tried to win from there. Man, I, I, I should have just set up on Groudon and just hope it wasn't Roar. That was it. I'm, I can't believe it was IC win. I guess that's becoming... getting a lot more traction. Ah, I'm mad. I messed that up. I'll look at this later. Uh, challenge for game three. When ready. I really messed that up. He was actually icy win. Like, I stand by my... If he was not icy win, uh, men's lives every hit. Huh. Maybe I should have prioritized with my triple defog or default. <laughs> All right, last team. Similar to the first, but no uh, Marshadow. But um, we do have Curse Scizor, which is really cool. Um, this will allow me to late game beat Arceus as well as uh, we can Marshadow with Thunder Wave as well. Origin Pulse, Eruption, slow U-turn out into the. Basically, you slow U-turn with Scizor. Um, as Groudon comes in, you get in Kyogre and you click Water Spout. That's like the idea behind it. So, I'm mad I messed that up though. I'm mad he was actually Icy Win. <laughs> Is that really popular now? I don't even know. Smogon.com. Obviously, this doesn't show popularity because this thing is outdated at some points. But yeah, this is the set I expected. I expected him to Willow Wisp there. I Dragon Dance. I knock him out with Double Edge. And I still knock out Groudon. Chili Trapper. Oh, I see when his offensive trap. Oh, okay, so it is like the first thing slash on the set, too. I didn't even know that. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Alright, so my own. Not that inexperienced, but I never saw I see when Gengar on the ladder. So I only saw it once in a tournament. Recently, actually. All right, once again, we're running de double defog. Specs of Veltal, which is pretty cool. Be careful not to lose the E killer. I think I've ran enough to the point where he might not bring out Xerneas here, but Xerneas is actually an option. I brought double uh, Dusk Main though, so maybe Xerneas is not. But then again, I also brought double Marshadow. So Xerneas could be an option. Right. Let me import a team and I challenge. I think he meant let me import a team and I challenge. Or I'm just waiting for that. Man, I thought I set that endgame up really You know what? I should just Dragon Dance in front of Arceus flying. That was it. That was what I should have done. Because if he would have to go, he would be forced to go Groudon after, which I'd be able to get the plus one double edge off on. Um, and that easily puts in range of close combat, and then I just shadow sneak. So I messed up and should have allowed him to. Uh, I should have went Salamence. I should have Dragon Dance. I take the judgment. Yeah, and then he goes Groudon. I do about 60 70% plus one double edge. Knock him out close combat. Knock out Gengar with shadow sneak. Knock out Kyogre with shadow sneak too. But I mean, special thief close combat as well. So that was my bad. Uh, I was trying to go for Salamence, and I didn't take into account the fact that he should he could switch. <laughs> Is Verizon texting me? I don't care about Cloud. I have pictures on my phone. I don't even have that many pictures on my phone. It's a couple years of pictures. Yeah, but I put nothing in the cloud. Who's who PM me? Alright, so I guess I'll pause it guys until uh, I get the next challenge. We'll be right back. Alright guys, here we are with game three. Let's uh let's see what we got. So it looks like we have some offense. Um just some straight up offense. 
I fun dude. Somebody's gonna invite his friend again. Uh, curse Scizor is incredible. We're just gonna lead a Veltal and Dark Pulse up though. I have double default plus Thunder Wave on my Arceus Fairy. I don't see a reason not to uh, to Dark Pulse up. Ideally, Curse Scizor wins this game because it, it should be able to beat everything besides Groudon. So I get the KO on Deoxys turn one. That's cool. I'm assuming he's going to bring out uh, Xerneas next. If he does, I actually stay in and click Dark Pulse again. Um, I don't risk Groudon on the double to, to Salamence. I need damage on Xerneas for my Groudon to put it in range of Scizor. Just a few things to think about. Once I get rid of Groudon, I think I'm good too. So go Zern. I'm gonna Dark Pulse. Uh, if he outspeeds me, Scarf. Nobody else is running Timid Zern unless they're. No, <laughs> nobody's running Timid Zern, period. So Geomancy's up. I can get in Groudon now after I sack. And go for Press's Blades. Please land. I need you to land so Scissor can knock you out. Like, I need this to land so Scizor can get the KO. I very much need this to land. Oh my god, what? It just dropped. Holy crap. It really just dropped to a Focus Blast. Dude. That's bad. BP twice does 2 KO Xerneas, but I don't even know if I live a hit now. Yeah, that's really bad. I think I lost. Um, Cause you're gonna bring out Groudon. I, I have to somehow find a way to roost. Wow, that's really bad. Basically, the game plan was I might have just lost right now. The game plan was live one hit. Doesn't matter what. Get off enough damage to the point of Scissor to knock you out with BP. I mean, I don't stand on you. You're physical too. Defog. Don't have Hex either. It's funny too because these are like my ways of beating his... Uh, like I, this is just bad period. Because this is my way of beating his... Groudon as well. So everything is not looking that good. I'm getting Kyogre here and then double back on to Giratina on what I'm hoping to be the Z move. But I'll Draco first. And then try that. Yeah, this is, this is bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is an L. Just a straight up L. As he dodges a Draco. So yeah, it's game. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I guess it didn't matter, dude. That was fun. I'm mad I messed up the first game. And I'm also mad that my Groudon, which is my counter on this team, the Xerneas, uh, died in one. <laughs> like, why, dude? Why did you die in one? Well, good game, dude. Uh, good luck in future uh, rounds of the Open. That was that was not good. Like, I did what I had to do, assuming Groudon lived a hit. That was just it. Like, I'm primal Groudon. A BP, a break your sub. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's over. There's no point in me playing anymore. Good game. Good luck in future rounds. Yeah, it's, it's legitimately over. Can't do anything. Good game, dude. So, uh, that's really disappointing that my, my best Xerneas switch in, because Scizor gets massacred by plus two Moonblast. Uh, it did not take a hit. But I guess I was just no HP, so that's, that explains why. That's really lame, though. Oh, anyway, anyway thank you everybody for watching. Uh, I think I messed up game two, but obviously it had to do with if he was... Uh, what's it called? Um, I, he literally had to be Icy Wing Gengar. Game man's too bad. What? Love your content, though. Why are you... T you were not my opponent. 
Were you the dude he invited? Oh, thank you. What the hell? Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.